So why is science and technology learning important? From our perspective at SAP, we develop software for corporations worldwide, for organizations worldwide. And so we need young people who understand maths and sciences and who are interested in maths and sciences so that they can, one, use the programs that we develop, but two, also potentially help us develop them. We would love to have more employees from Africa in the future as this continent grows and develops. So I think the main challenge here in Africa is infrastructure. Just the availability of science centers is not that prevalent. You have about 28 in South Africa, but you have four in the rest of Africa. And I think that's where the challenge lies in coming up with creative solutions to grow science centers, not just brick and mortar, but online and potentially also traveling exhibits that can be used at markets, etc. And that's what this conference is all about, really trying to push uh, science center and science learning throughout Africa. Could you just give us a one, maybe two examples of projects that SAPs are involved in, similar to the movie that you showed earlier on. Sure. So we actually have lots of research projects across Africa where we are working with local people who are really running indigenous businesses to see how we can use technology to improve their lives. So one example is shea nut farming in Ghana where we actually help the farmers who are making uh, or farming the shea nuts collect and work together in cooperatives so they can get the best price for their nuts and, uh, and also have uh, real buying power for the equipment that they need to buy. So that's one example. Here in, in South Africa, we actually are using mobile technology for the Spazi stores uh, owners so that they can come together in cooperatives to buy uh, things together and so they don't have to spend days and days traveling to actually buy for their uh, stores so that they can actually band together and say let's have a truck come and, and deliver some things. So those are little examples of things that SAP is doing to really help and find ways to, uh, to do business here in, in Africa but also help the community. And just to generalize on a top level, would you say that there's any kind of aspirations that SAPS has in terms of converging with uh, uh, projects on the African continent? Well I think you know wherever there's opportunity for SAP to actually influence how the world runs, to make it run better, and where there's opportunity for us to help improve people's lives. Those are things that we're interested in. We really want to make sure that the power that we have in software and the power that we have in people can be translated to actually making life better for people. In the end, that's what businesses should do. You shouldn't just out, be out for profit. You should really try to help people's lives. So where there are projects in Africa that uh, could benefit from our know-how, we'd be interested. 